now I'm hiding in the bathroom, having some privacy and some coffee because <laughs> I've only been up for one hour and it feels like I've been up all day already. At least my coffee's hot. So I have to admit, I'm not exactly a summertime kind of gal. I don't love summer weather. I really enjoy me some fall and winter, but there is something about summer that I really do love. And that's the change in routine that happens for our family in the summertime. This year is particularly different for our family compared to previous years for a couple of different reasons. One, we have a new addition to our family. Granted, she is almost six months old, but this is her first summer with our family. And then also my husband is now home full time thanks to the pandemic, he is here full time with us. So that's definitely different too. Our summer routine is a much slower pace than our fall, winter, and even our spring routines. So I thought it would be kind of fun to share with you today what our family summertime morning routine looks like as a family of five, as a homeschool family, and as a family who has both mom and dad home full time. So because our baby is still so small, her sleep routine is kind of like this. It's really all over the place. I mean, really all over the place. So for me, that means I sleep in a little bit in the morning because I'm the one that gets up with her throughout the night. So my husband gets up at about 4.30 or 5, usually every morning, and he'll take the baby with him so that I can get a little bit of sleep. And my older girls like to be my alarm clock in the morning. Hi. Hi, mommy. Hi, Flory. Uh, stop. You stop. <laughs> <laughs> Then we will slowly make our way downstairs and get the girls breakfast. We find that feeding them at about the time that I wake up works best. When your meals are not met with hostility from your tiny humans, you know as a parent that that is bliss. The girls will sit down to breakfast. My husband and I will enjoy coffee because it is always so desperately needed. I will feed the baby and then we like to get the kids outside as soon as possible. We do this because for one, we do homeschool through the summer and I find that letting the kids get their energy out first thing in the morning helps particularly my oldest really pay attention and just just be a little bit more focused when we start school later in the morning and two it gets super hot here in the middle of the day uh, we live in Iowa and it girl it gets hot here so we let them get some time in in the pool they can play on the place at do whatever they want to do really in our backyard or on our property um, until about 10 o'clock which is when I like to get school started School, because it is kind of summertime for us, does not take as long as it would during the fall and winter months. Um, it should take us about an hour and a half, and then after school, we move on to a little bit of lunch munch. And in the summer, we're not focusing on our big subjects like science, math, history, that sort of thing. We focus more on things like coping skills and arts and crafts. We're doing a little language arts right now. Just things that don't require so much structure. We also like to have the kids kind of help with some chores throughout the morning. My oldest favorite chore right now is definitely watering our plants. I am not somebody who does great with keeping plants alive. Children, no problem, but plants, Mm, I struggle with that. So my oldest job is to water our herbs and our plants in the morning, which is actually really helpful. And while our oldest is doing school, usually our middle child Florence will uh, watch a movie. Right now she's super into Frozen, both Frozen and Frozen 2, so I have those on repeat in my brain because I hear them in the background every single day when I'm teaching. And then after school, we like to get the kids an early lunch between 11.30 or 12, and that kind of wraps up our summertime morning routine. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer as much as we're enjoying ours and I will see you next time. Bye!